in this lecture let us discuss about bag of words model which is one of the simplest and most commonly used technique in natural language processing for representing the text data so this method is used to convert the text into a fixed length vector representation that can be used for machine learning tasks such as text classification sentiment analysis etc in the bag of words text is represented as an unordered collection of words without any concern for grammar or word order only focusing on the frequency or occurrence of words so here this method completely ignores the grammar and word order so it will just focus on word frequencies and here each document is represented by a vector where each dimension corresponds to a unique word in the corpus whereas the value in each dimension it represents a frequency or presence of the word in the document and uh, coming to the steps to perform bag of words representation first step is prepare the data so we'll take the text corpus so here we are assuming that the text corpus consists of three simple sentences i love programming programming is fun i love fun programming and step 2 is tokenization so here first uh, we break down each sentence into individual words which are also called as tokens and this step is called as tokenization so here if you take the first sentence tokens are nothing but the words uh, the words individual words in the sentence i love programming similarly in the second sentence and third sentence also will extract the tokens from the sentence and step 3 is build the vocabulary here vocabulary is nothing but collection of all unique words present in the entire corpus so here from these sentences we need to pick the unique words okay so we first remove duplicates and get the unique words like this i love programming is fun so these words are repeated multiple times in three sentences but we should consider them only once these words form vocabulary and here we can assign each word a unique index so first uh, we are taking the first word as i and the index assigned to that is 0 love index assigned is 1 so like that for every word we need to assign a unique index value then step 4 is create feature vectors so now uh, we convert each sentence into a feature vector based on the vocabulary so the value in each dimension corresponds to frequency of the word in that sentence so if you consider the first sentence i love programming so here we need to find out how many number of times these words appeared in the sentence so if you take i so this i occurred only once right then love love occurred once then programming also occurred once where is remaining words so if you take other uh, words in the vocabulary like ease and fun so what are the other words ease and fun so they have not appeared once in the sentence at least they have not appeared at least once in the sentence so their value becomes zero and this is the vector representation for the sentence so for the first three words as they are present in the sentence we are put, uh, we need to place one and for the remaining two words as they are not existing in the sentence we need to replace those values with zero then coming to the second sentence programming is fun here also if you see i is not existing in the sentence so that is zero then love is not existing that value also zero whereas programming is fun they occurred once in the sentence so their values will be one and this is the vector representation in the same way we need to do for the third sentence also then final bag of words matrix so we now have a matrix representing the corpus where each row corresponds to a sentence and each column corresponds to the word in the vocabulary so here if you observe this so these are nothing but the rows right so each row it corresponds to a particular sentence in the corpus and whereas uh, each column so these are the columns they represent words in the vocabulary we have total five unique words right now uh, here uh, so the vectors which we got before for the sentences you can uh, place them as it is so if you see the first one the value is 11100 zero, zero. 
So we will place it here 11100 corresponding to sentence I love programming. Then for the second one 00111. So 00111 for the second sentence. And for the third sentence it is 11101. So here 11101. So this is how we need to construct a matrix. Then use in machine learning models. Last step. So here the bag of words representation which is a sparse matrix of word frequency can be used as input for machine learning models like logistic regression, navy base, support vector machines or deep learning models for various NLP tasks like text classification, sentiment analysis etc. Let us see the implementation part. Here this code uses count vectorizer from sklearn.featureextraction.com text. So uh, this is uh, used in order to create bag of words model for a given corpus of documents. Then uh, we have a small set of sample documents. So we consider three sentences. Then uh, count vectorizer initialization. So count vectorizer it converts a collection of text documents to a matrix of token counts which are also called as bag of words. It tokenizes the text, converts the words to lowercase letters and removes any stop words if specified. So here we have not discussed anything about this stop word removal but even that can be done. Then coming to this, uh, this line, here fit transform is applied to the documents to learn the vocabulary and transform the text into a matrix of word counts. Then convert to array, so the result x. So here we got this result x, right? So this is a sparse matrix. So this two array here, it converts it into a dense numpy array for easier visualization. Next, a get feature names out. It gives the words, that is vocabulary used in the bag of words model. And finally, display. So display results. So the vocabulary or the words and the resulting bag of words matrix are printed. So here we are printing the vocabulary as well as bag of words matrix. Coming to the advantages of bag of words model, one is simplicity. It is easy to understand as well as implement. So that is, this method is very simple. And it works well for text classification. So bag of words is effective for many simple text classification tasks. Then the third one is efficiency. So if you take small and medium sized data sets, then we can say that this bag of words can be efficient enough. Coming to the disadvantages, loses word order. So this bag of words, it doesn't capture the order or structure of the words in the text. So if you take the sentence, I love programming and programming love I. So here, both of them would have the same bag of words representation, although the meaning might differ in other contexts. And uh, coming to the second one, high dimensionality, if the corpus has many unique words, the feature vector becomes very large, okay, so which is high dimensional, which may lead to overfitting or increased computational cost. And the third drawback is sparsity. So the matrix is sparse, mostly zeros, especially if the corpus has many unique words. This can be inefficient for memory storage and computation.